Good evening, one today is Wednesday, September 6, 2023, jump day for Thursday the 7th. All right, let's go. Well, no setups going into tomorrow. Again, there's not a whole lot out there to look at. The market is kind of iffy, and today's action is kind of ugly, and we'll flesh all that out. And just one second, had a great day to portfolio. We'll check that out too. Here's a landry list going into tomorrow. Still seeing some home builders in here. Nothing I feel like I have to rush out and short. I did want to show you this meta. It's kind of a, a micro kind of first thrust type of setup. A little bit on the dangerous side, but the reason I want to show it to you is because this is a major stock, obviously, and it looks like it could be. And trouble. And as goes some of these major stocks, and I'm going to show you Apple later, but we'll take a look at it now. So goes the market. And you can see Apple stalling out, stalling well short of these prior highs in here. Kind of a, a gatekeeper type of pattern there. So I don't see any reason to go after anything brand new. Uh, KBH, by the way, still looks like it's in trouble. Still looks like a major top remains in place there. Let's take a look at the portfolio. And, you know, it's okay not to do anything. I hate to keep lecturing this, but I know we have... People coming in all the time, and it's and again, I wish somebody would tell me this 20 something years ago. I know you guys are sick of hearing that, but it's really true. In fact, every now and then, I need somebody to tell me now just to sit on your hands, Dave, and wait it out. Take a look at LFMD coming back in. This is a bit of a bummer because we were just trying to get out of this range just yesterday. Not the end of the world, though. You know, routine here it comes one day at a time. KNF coming back in and here under your stop, just in case on that, it becomes better in the poke in the eye. So be it. And finally, KBH. A little bit of a bounce there. It looks like it's in trouble longer term now. It looks like a major top remains in place on that one. Let's take a look at the overall market. And this is quite a few things to look at tonight. Let's start with the P's and then we'll work our way down to some sector action. S&P 500 telling off fairly hard in here. Off its worst levels, but still not a good thing, especially when you stall in short of the prior highs in here. It does have a little bit of a head and shoulders type of look to it. And unfortunately, that right shoulder is higher than the left, and that becomes a little bit more bearish when that occurs. Let's throw the moving averages in and see where we are. We are right at the 50 or just below the 50, and you can see we're pushing back below those bow tie moving averages once again. So that's a bit of a bummer. Let's get back to the overall market. NASDAQ Composite also has a bit of a head and shoulders look to it. That would be a shoulder there. That would obviously be a head. And this would be another shoulder. And once again, right side higher than the left. We're back below the 50 and we're pushing back below, or we're right at the 50, I should say. And we're now pushing back below those bow tie moving averages. Not the end of the world when that occurs when you trade below them, but it does give you a reference to figure out what's happening, good or bad, right? Take a look at the Rusty, now well below its 50. Simple, still stuck in this stupid range as it has been forever. Energy's down a little bit. So far, the breakout remains intact. You know I me, mean, I like to see some serious acceleration in here. We could see some setups here fairly soon, so sit tight there. Let's take a look at some other areas in here. Let's take a look at retail. Retail's kind of looking a little toppy. Let's take a look at RTH. RTH, as you can see, is now kind of breaking down below that 50. Had a bit of a micro or not such a micro first thrust type of pattern in here, now beginning to roll back over. So that's certainly a bit of a bummer. Let's take a look at MNC. As you can see, MNC had a little bit of a bounce, still continued to kind of form a, a top below the 50 simple moving average, or certainly getting thwarted at that 50 simple. So that is a bit of a bummer. Leisure looks like it's continuing to kind of break down in here, so this is kind of ugly. They're not that leisure is that big of a deal, but it all begins to add up. And I suppose you can make a case that leisure is the first one to go when discretionary spending gets thrown out the window or gets stopped. Uh, transports, as you can see, breaking down the multi-month low, so that's pretty ugly. Shorter term and fairly longer term in here. Software, one of the few areas still doing okay. I sure would like to see it get past the prior peak in here so we don't end up, don't end up with something like a head and shoulder top there like some of the other areas. Let's take a look at the semiconductors and then we'll wrap things up. Semiconductors selling off a little bit, not the end of the world, but certainly not making any far progress in quite some time. Still looking a little toppy in here, both shorter term and a little bit longer term because we got thwarted at these prior highs. A few big updates would make a big difference here, but obviously that would have to happen. Anyway, I think that's it for now. If you have any questions, you know the routine. Everybody have a fantastic night. We'll talk tomorrow. Thank you so much.